What is good everybody? It's awesome. And in this video, I want to cover three simple tips that will help you beat Lethal Zone. These three tips have allowed me to take even a solo survivor with no skills and beat the game. These tips were so helpful to me and I hope they're helpful to you. So let's get into it. The first tip is so good that it's almost not fair. Standing on cars to kill ferals. If I have a survivor who has powerhouse, it's fun to run around, drop kick, and execute ferals. If I have a survivor with gunslinging, it's fun to shoot it out in the streets. But if I have an unskilled survivor, or I'm in a solo playthrough and I can't afford to die, or I can't afford to be using resources, ferals are easy to kill if you simply stand on a car. Whenever you're going to attack a plague heart or engage in a mission, always note your surroundings and have a car that you can get on. You can pick the ferals apart. It's such a good tip, it's almost not fair. A tip for another video. There's a rhythm to shooting them in the head and it should only take three bullets, but that's a little more advanced. The second simple tip that will really help you in Lethal Zone has to do with making your escape. You should already know to park smart, but if you don't, I'll say it once. Always park with the hood of your car up against something so that zombies can't get on the hood and cause the car to explode. Now here's the tip. When you're running away from a horde or ferals and you need to make an escape, enter the passenger side of the vehicle. This will cause the zombies to take a couple steps in the wrong direction while you are shifting from the passenger side to the driver's side. The game will do this automatically. You will lose less driver doors this way, you'll get pulled out of cars less often this way. The zombie AI does not react smoothly to your shifting from the passenger seat to the driver's seat, and it makes your escape that much easier. Especially, especially, especially if you have no doors on your car, this tip gets magnified. And the third simple tip that may help you in Lethal Zone is simple in principle but it may take a little practice to execute. It's all about combining stimulants and dodging at Plague Hearts. Dodging is overpowered in this game. You can even dodge through a horde when you have no stamina. But if you combine stimulants with dodging and heavy weapons, you can dominate Plague Hearts. With a stimulant in your system, hit the Plague Heart, dodge away, dodge back, hit the Plague Heart again. Repeat this process until the Plague Heart phases and then escape the building. Maybe take a lap or stand on a car and assess the situation and repeat. Hit, dodge away, dodge back, hit again. And do this until the Plague Heart is destroyed. It is important to note that while you're in this process, you are listening for ferals. That's the one thing that can interrupt this process. If you hear a feral, retreat to a rooftop and see tip number one. There are so many good tips out there. Leave yours in the comments. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and we're gonna keep gaming straight through the apocalypse.